this is Dice Animan, and I'm going to show you how to get basic um, commands and stuff with Python. So, if you you go ahead and open up Idle, um, I'm assuming you already have everything downloaded. Um, if you go ahead and open up Idle, you'll see it's in the Python shell, and you'll just see this. And you can type a few things, like... Um, you can use it as a calculator, 1 plus 1, it says that, 58 um, times 73, it does it really fast. So you can use it as a calculator, you can use some things. I'll teach you some commands, um, print, um, you print whatever you want, print high. Um, it says hi, if you do print hi without the parentheses, it doesn't work, as you can see. And if you do a space, it still doesn't work, so you need those parentheses around it. So, now, what you should do is you're probably wondering why, well, Whenever I type a line, it's just going to go like that. How do I make an um, actual program? Well, what you have to do is go File, and New Window, and then you can actually make a program. And you can run it quick and easy. So, the first thing I'll show you is print. I already showed that to you. It's basically print, and then remember the parentheses and the quotes. Print... Hello world. And see if you press enter, it doesn't do anything except go to the next line like it would in any normal word processor thing, except this isn't that. So what you can do is do run, run, not check module. Um, run, run module. It'll ask you if it's okay to save. So first of all, it should save this as something. So save as... Um, it's not responding. It's not good. Um, since, oh, here we go. So I'm going to save this as, um, tutorial. Okay, save. So now I can do some more stuff. So if I I can run it now. So now it'll save it as the thing I told it to save as. If I do run module, source must be saved. Okay to save. Yes, okay. I'll ask you that every time. And it'll open it up on this thing. And it'll say hello world. So that's pretty cool. Um we can go ahead and X out of this Python shell because it's gonna keep on adding everything onto there if we don't do that. So if you X out of that one, not this, just the other one, then you should probably do that every time you run it. Unless it's a short program, like this. Um, but I'm just showing it to you just, just because. Okay, so now print hello world. And now I'm going to teach you how to use variables. So, let's say, um, variables basically... They can store things. They can store values, um, words, and a lot, a lot of other stuff. So um, let's make a variable called variable. Um, and then you do equals um, high. And then if we do print um, variable. Notice this time when I did print, um, I didn't put this in quotations. The reason I didn't do that is because this is a variable, and if I tried, to, if I did print variable, then it would print the word variable. But that's not what we want to print. We want it to print high. So if we do run, run module, um, it will say hello world and high because we stored that variable. So now, let's X out of the Python shell. 
So now, um, so we can store different variables. So now you you can't you can do you can use variables multiple times and you can change their value. So, um, so now if we do variable equals by um and print um variable um I have too many spaces in there. If we do print variable, then what we should be able to do is do run run module. Okay. And it'll say, hello world, hi, bye. Because what's going on here is it says, okay, print hello world. It does that, prints it out. Then it says variable equals high. Okay, print variable. So since variable equals high, it prints high. Then um, you're changing the value of it. So it's like, okay, now variable equals by. And then it says print variable. Variable now equals by, so we say by. But it's it doesn't get rid of this one up here because it already printed it. Um... So it doesn't automatically get rid of it if it's um, a variable of a previous value. So X out of this. And now I'll show you how to get input. So let's say, um, uh, let's create a new variable called in, um, no, that's already taken. Um, variable two, or input var so input var um input var will equal um input so now that's not going to do anything so if we do now if we do print Change that to var input var. So now print input var. I'm actually going to change this to in var. So if we do print in var, um, and I didn't put it in quotes. If I do that, run module. Um. Now it brings up a little line for me to type something. So if I say, um, Zizani man, and then it prints out what I said. So that's pretty cool. Um, now I am going to do something different. There is something called if statements. And basically what they are is they test if whatever, then do whatever. So if in var equals um, um, good, then print um, okay or something like that. So we, what we wanted to do is um, so... Let's add an if statement here. So uh, let's get rid of that statement. And we can add if in var. No. Oh, let's add it after this. Sorry. If in var, in var equals equals. I have to use two equal signs because if I did this, then I think I was assigning something, but then I have an if statement, so it gets all confused. You have to have two equals to test if it's equal to something. So in var equals input. If in var equals equals good, um, and you have to do the, you have to have um, colon, press enter, and you'll notice it takes you up a tab. Because indenting is very important in Python. If you don't do the indents right, it doesn't like that. So, and 
You can either input using tab, which is what I do, because everything's in tab units, or you can use space, but you can't use both. Like, if um, you can't use tab on this line and then go to the next line and use space bars, or else it doesn't work. So if invar equals good, um, and that colon is basically saying then, so if invar equals good, print that's good. And I just realized we don't really have a reason to say good, so we should have maybe um, print how are you today? Como estas? How are you today? And then it'll say your your input will be what you type. So invar will become what you typed. If invar equals good, then print that's good. And then you don't need to say end or anything. You just need to go back down the tab. So say run, run module must be saved. And now it'll say, hello world, hi, bye, because those are all things. How are you today? Let's say bad. It, um, name good is not defined. All right, so, oh, this is because we didn't put good in quotes, of course. Input equals good print that's good so now if we do run run module and it's gonna say all that stuff if we say bad it doesn't do anything but if we say good it'll say that's good so now let's set up an else statement so um, if invar equals good, um, equals equals good, print, that's good. Else, which basically means otherwise, you can do else if. Um, but I just want to show you else because we don't really need anything else. So else, um, um, print to bad. Or that. That's too bad. So now if we run module. How are you today? Um, bad. That's too bad. So if we do else if else. So yeah, we don't want else if or anything like that. I'll just stick to the basics here, and yeah, so that is how you basically use print, um, in something out, variables, if statements, and else, else statements in Python. All right, so, um, goodbye, and I will see you in the next episode. Um, okay, control, 